So far in looking at extreme objects of the universe, we have seen the quark star that exists on the edge of becoming a black hole, born from a massive star. And we've seen the quasi star, a star so tremendously huge and massive, it may have been the progenitor for today's supermassive black holes. However, having examined the largest stars that have ever existed, what exists on the other end of the scale? How small can a star possibly get? Scaling down from the largest hypothetical class of star, the quasi star, to UI Scuti, the largest star known today, we can see that at different times during the universe, different kinds of stars are possible as the cosmic environment changes. Today, the smallest kinds of stars possible are the red dwarfs. These stars, owing to their small size of just 7 to 50% the mass of our sun, are extremely long lived, with an estimated lifespan of 10 trillion years, much longer than the current age of the universe. Red dwarfs are the smallest known stars. However, in the future, this may not always be the case. As the universe continues to age, the cosmic landscape will also change with time. As stars continue to undergo nuclear fusion, which is where the heavier elements are created in their core, they eventually die and scatter these elements into the cosmic landscape. Elements heavier than helium inside of stars are called metals by astronomers, a different meaning to the chemical one. In the far future, enough stars will have lived for a new type of star to have been born, the frozen star. Frozen stars are extremely metallic in nature. They have so much metal within their core that the metal insulates the interior and allows very little heat to escape, allowing much lower masses for fusion to occur. Because of this, frozen stars could weigh up to just 4% the mass of the sun, which is just half that of present day red dwarfs. A frozen star would be extremely cool. At zero degrees Celsius, for its surface temperature, it would have ice clouds. This is where the name for a frozen star comes from. Because it is so cool in terms of stellar standards, frozen stars would appear to be as big as Jupiter, but would weigh 40 times as much. Much like the red dwarfs, it would be extremely long lived. Since it would weigh even less than the red dwarfs, its lifespan would be considerably longer. This means that the last stars to burn in the universe would not be red dwarfs, but frozen stars. But these last stars would not be shining beacons of the cosmos. They would be extremely dim, dimmer than any stars in existence today. So do any frozen stars exist in the present day universe? It is very unlikely that any will exist for a long time because the metallicity of the universe is still much too low. A high concentration of metals is needed for frozen stars to insulate the heat needed for their core to sustain fusion. So the current day universe would not give such a star the right amount of metallicity to exist. So among the white dwarfs, black holes and neutron stars of the future, the frozen star may reside as the last type of star in an ever cooling universe. That's it for this extreme object of the universe. Until next time, thanks for watching.